So hello everyone. Welcome to Need to Doctor. This is Shruti Auja, MBBS student at GMC at Chandigarh. So in this video, we will talk about the physiology books detailed review. Which book and how should you read that book in detail? So first you have to watch the video to build a basic concept and have an idea about it. It may be on any platform like Google or Medid or whichever platform you have got. Uh, you can watch their video and uh, subsequently they, or you can also watch even uh, YouTube videos like from Ninja Nerd etc. And then uh, you will get a basic idea about uh, what it is. For example, if you are studying general physiology or you are studying RMP from general physiology, resting membrane potential, uh, then you should know what it is. Because when you read a book, um, you will get a better orientation and it will help you build better concept. Then you have to start with guidance, which is the gold standard as suggested by the teachers in the college, the professors, uh, seniors and everyone um, here in MBS. So you have first of all read the headings like what is there in the chapter then have an overview of the chapter you can also make a mind map or you can also write it in a small form in a notepad also or somewhere like you will uh, get to know what are the headings what i will study in that chapter right um, then read the images why do i say read the images because even if there is a graph even if there is a diagram then you need to read it fully you need to analyze it what is there and what does it uh, like what what does it want to tell us then uh, you have to at last read the text in detail so you don't have to read like from first line to last line of the chapter not like that not in a continuity first you have to follow these steps and then um, like read the text in detail this will help you a lot because Guyton is such a, a huge book Yenong is such a huge book and every book in uh, MBBS so it will help you a lot uh, to read the books and grasp them also so that it is useful for you next you have to focus what is the main points when you are reading like which are the uh, star marked points images graphs the bold content the which is written in bold uh, letters and the uh, flow charts flow charts are also very must from guiding once you have the, uh, you are done with guidance then you have to review the ginong ginong is a review okay so you have to just look or find the new points which were not covered in both the video and the guidance so you have to mark those points or if you are making notes which you should uh, you have to include those points in your notes then uh, you also need to go through the schematic diagrams which are there in Ginong or the flowcharts or with the graphs. Everything, each and every illustration in Ginong is very important to build your concept. It may not come in exam but it is very important to build your concept because physiology is the basis of uh, many topics which you will study in second year and um, subsequently in uh, coming uh, classes. Then uh, you have to also read the clinical boxes very clear nicely because there may be less clinical boxes in Guyton but there are more applications in Ginong with a better concept. So what is the difference between the two books? It is a like very popular point, right? Guyton versus Ginong. It, Guyton is easy to understand. Ginong has better concept development. Uh, so Guyton has the graphs in Guyton are very important. They are like exactly asked in spotters or you can say in the Vivo also there is sometimes they keep the graphs and you have to explain it. Uh, next is uh, the content is relatively more in Ginong, right? Uh, yes, the content is more. Uh, it may look like a smaller book than uh, Guyton, but the content there is more. In Guyton, um, like it is must, you have to study it, you can't leave it. But Ginong is relatively optional if you are not having time or you don't like it, right? Next comes uh, notes. You have to make your own notes, that is a must. But you can also follow, you should follow Marrow notes of physiology specifically as a book. You need to do the flowcharts, tables, diagrams to understand how to write an exam because Guyton and Ginong will direct you for a concept but not for like the exam related oriented purpose, right? Uh, 
so uh, you will also get some extra points uh, which may not be from physiology point of view but will help you write extra or some uh, fill the pages in the exam also like it may be from pharma of second year the name of drugs and all these things but yes it will help you for sure um, to add some more information and dive deep into the concept right uh, next comes Indian author. This was all about the foreign authors majorly. Next, Indian authors. Uh, we had having, you must have a look at G.K. Pal book. I also had a look um, at that, but a little late. But I found that book to be very useful. It is not very famous, um, which I got to know. It is not very famous, but it is very useful. And it would help you a lot at the end because all the guidance, you know, graphs, everything is summarized there. Like it is accumulated version. So if you want to follow any Indian author for better understanding, for like easier language, for CBME type oriented things, then uh, you can follow that GK Pal book. So I would not suggest AK Jain or Sambulingam. So only at your discretion, own discretion, you can choose them because I didn't find them that much useful. So they are not required as such. So what are the highlights of GK Pal? Why I'm choosing it? So it is very nice content is complete there like it is not missing so diagrams and graphs are also very well given so important questions are also given there like which very short short answer or long answer question can come from this specific uh, text and for example if you are having one chapter it is not that it is given in a long length it is been it has been divided into various uh, sub chapters so that it is very easy to comprehend right so this was all about the theory part, how you have to study and um, what things you have to study from which resource. Next comes the practical portion, right? So in practical, you are having the GK PAL, uh, that is the standard and you need to study GK PAL practical book. Um, it is uh, like um, justified amount of pages are there, but uh, you number of pages are there, but you need to study that. It has everything, the photos, the amphibian graphs and many things. Uh, which you need to find yourself ultimately. So it is already given there. So you can also refer to AK Jain. Uh, many people suggest that book, but I think you should read GK Pal only. That is enough and just focus on one book instead of multiple books. So uh, you also need to make PDF according to your own college content. What do I mean by this? Uh, that sometimes like amphibian graphs every college has different amphibian graphs the look is different um, every college has different apparatus like it may be of different company or so you need to have a look at those also you need to click the pictures of those apparatus so that it would help you in the final exam uh, the pictures of the amphibian graphs uh, the pictures of the like the spirometers and everything which you will uh, need for the OSPI. I will have a separate video for the OSPI related content and the amphibian graphs and everything like that. Um, so you need to stay tuned uh, with my channel for that too. But um, wholly you need to understand that you can't rely fully on the books. You need to develop your own content also. You need to develop uh, like um, understand what the teacher is saying in the practical, what the teacher is saying in the lectures, in the theory lectures. Then uh, you need to add that content in your notes, in your text also because that would enrich it and would help you in the final exams also. I hope you understand this point and if you like this video then do like my channel and Save it, this video in the library and also share it with your friends uh, because sharing is caring.